Oh, hi Prashant. Firstly, welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Thank you. Um, would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, sure. Uh, so my name is Prashant Shrivastav. I come from Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh. And uh, I was studying mechanical engineering in VIT Chennai. Currently, I'm still in my fourth year. Okay. And since the placement season began in the sixth semester, I was sitting in the companies. Mm. <clears throat> uh, luckily, I got uh, an opportunity to apply with this company, Forma AI. That is a Canadian company which is setting up its offices in India for the first time. Okay. So they'll be setting up their offices in Pune now, and uh, that is the role I got selected for. Okay. The role is of a data analyst. Okay. More specifically, incentive compensation analyst as per the company. Okay, okay. Okay, that sounds good. Um, like you can now tell us about the placement process, how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Yes, okay. So, uh, the first round itself was just an aptitude round hmm. for one hour. Hmm. Now, uh, as per any aptitude round, I figure that there are two things that really matter. Hmm. First is of course the correct answer. And the second is at the speed at which you actually solve the questions. Mm. For some reason, I was able to solve the entire one hour paper in 35 minutes and submit. Okay. So I do consider that as uh, that to be a big factor mm. in which mm. I got shortlisted because yeah. there were around 1300 people applied for that mm. paper mm. and only 68 were shortlisted okay. for the uh, for the processes. Mm. So when my name came there, uh, the second step was an interview. So mm. I got a a uh, mail from the company uh, for 7 pm interview the next day okay and uh, that was also a one hour interview okay and uh, in that there were just some very general questions about you know mm. introduce yourself and uh, they never actually asked me directly why should we hire you mm. and i'll admit that was a plus point because that question is very right. cliche mm. and mm. you always get frustrated while answering mm. that mm. but they did ask me one other thing why are you interested for this? Why are you interested in this field? What mm. makes you, you know, uh, want to work in this? Right. Now, I'll say that, you know, never answer those questions in a dodgy manner. Mm. Just say what you actually want to. Mm. So I was pretty honest with myself and to them. So I just said, okay, see, since it's a placement season, I'll admit I had to broaden my horizon. Since I am from the mechanical background and you know the first choice will obviously be your core company. Hmm. But when you start actually looking at the placement scenarios and everything, then uh, you have to broaden your horizon because hmm. you know you also have your priorities, you need to get placed. Right. So I was pretty honest about that. I hmm. said, yeah, I saw more uh, things and I explored more and then I actually saw about a company and I researched upon it. So it's hmm. good. Right. And yes, I do not have uh, much experience of this data analytics background hmm. which I cleared that to them also so they were okay with that hmm. it did not seem like a negative point to my interview hmm. they were like okay you do not have any experience but let's see if you have the aptitude for it right. so that is what my interviews were further based upon hmm. that one our interview was okay and uh, after that I was uh, soon after the interview I received another mail hmm. for uh, a group round Okay. There were, I think, 14 people attached in that mm. email mm. and uh, so I was confused, like, what shall it be, is it going to be a GD or something, but right. GD is right. how happened before the mm. personal interview, right. so I did not know what would that be. In the morning when I went into that round, that was a group, dis uh, that was not a group discussion, that was a case study round. Okay. They gave us a Google uh, PPT mm. and they asked us to study. Mm. It, it, there was a one hour duration. In mm. that one hour, we had to study it, a uh, 12 13 page PPT, and then answer the questions that were following. Okay. And after that one hour, we had to submit those answers to their email. Okay. That was done so that you know we do not change our answers, right, right, we right. do not take the entire day. Huh. Uh, once we submit the answers, the group activity ended. Hmm. And uh, then in the evening, I received another mail for a discussion. Now, that particular round was actually grueling. Okay. Admit. Okay. It was not a very friendly round. Mm. Okay, you know, I'm just trying to assess. You know, mm. they in that round they actually saw how do you handle pressure. Mm. That was interesting because uh, I'll admit most of the like there were six to seven answers and around half of the answers which I wrote he pinpointed loopholes in those. Oh, okay. And he made me see ki, okay, you thought along these lines. What if you think along these lines? What will the correct answer be then? Mm. 
uh, any person in that scenario will get flustered and confused mm. okay some will try to defend themselves or some will try to say okay no i am all wrong you are mm. correct mm. those things did uh, occur in the back of my head but mm. i had to answer those things a little more clearly right so i try to take a more uh, optimistic approach a more open approach mm. and what i did was i said okay in the given time constraint i thought of the best possible scenario i can mm. think of mm. but considering that these kind of decisions when taken in the company are not an individual decision but a group decision mm. so all the possible scenarios will be brought into light at mm. the same time mm. he was actually impressed by that so okay. uh i also accepted his answers and also defended my answers to some extent mm. and said ki okay uh whatever is more efficient mm. that was you know you even even at the simplest points he was able to pinpoint those things right. which would get me frustrated mm. also there was one more thing which i would like to uh inform uh if you uh, sit in an interview for a very structured company an old company mm. okay so they will have a very fixed type of uh Oh, how do you say a very fixed type of pattern, pattern huh. for the interview, right? But since this company was new, mm. they did not have a fixed pattern. But they focus more on what type of an individual are you? Mm. Can you contribute more to the company? Not just based upon your skill set, mm. but based upon how you think. Mm. I think that's a very interesting take right. that uh, we can go upon when while sitting for new companies. Right. Because even they are looking for employees who mm. can offer more than just their what's on the resume right 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 so they were focused a lot upon that you know mm. there was a point when he asked me you know if you are working in the office and uh, you uh, have to work in front of the laptop for 8 hours a day mm. and there will be days when you will have to attend meetings for 8 hours a day mm. what days would you prefer mm. personally i said okay uh, if before that i uh, told him that you know i'm more of a people person i like to have conversation and like mm. to have negotiations and all mm. so at that point he asked me this will you be able to work in front of the laptop mm. i said if the work demands then obviously mm. i'll have mm. i will so he started conflicting me at that point he said either you are lying mm. or you know this is just complete bullshit <laughs> because a person has to be one of the two things mm. if a person says i am good in both they are obviously lying Hmm. I did not have an answer to that, <coughs> but I did say that, sir, I am in the age where I am supposed to explore more. Hmm. You know, I am just a fresher in the industry. I can't say for sure that you know this is my forte right hmm. now because I have not even started exploring. Hmm. Once I start exploring, I'll get to know my niches. But for now, I am ready to. I am open to work both the things. Then I will come to understand what works for me. And I do understand, you know that. Uh, if at any point in the company i feel a little overburdened by a certain task and i bring that to light to the superiors it's not like they'll force me to do that mm. right obviously mm. the work culture is like that so yes i kind of took this approach by handling these tricky questions right after that i just had one more round that was from a guy with a guy from canada mm. the uh, headquarters of the company itself right. that was not actually an interview round but he just wanted to communicate with me for some reason mm. Okay, that was it. Okay, and after that, it was you just got the list, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We uh, first received an individual mail from the company, hmm. and it was the weekend, so the college mail came two days after that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's great. Congratulations again. Uh, do you have any suggestions that are specific to your company or anything <coughs> in general? Do you want to say? Uh, nothing specific to the company, as in, hmm. but uh, some suggestions for interviews and. Mm. it's just that be honest do not uh, beat around the bush mm. and do not try to fill in the interviewer with incomplete information right like uh, there was a instance where the, in the first interview itself the person asked me do you know about uh, excel the joins in excel huh. i said i have heard about them that you know there are table link- linkings and everything mm-hmm. but i do not know he asked me do you know about left join and right join i just straight away said no i don't okay. know okay so instead of you know trying to confuse him because the the, pers- the person is not a new person right. right they obviously have a lot more experience of interviewing right than the interviews that you have actually sat upon right so do not uh, play games like that just be honest hmm. that will work a long way okay 
also there's one more thing I'd like to say hmm. is that research upon the good tips for the interview. Like yeah. this particular video is based upon that only. Hmm. Hmm. Also research more about that because I remember uh, back in COVID I used to apply for internships hmm. here and there, hmm. you know, sales marketing and all. So I sat on a lot of interviews and uh, I studied interviews. Okay. You know, what are the questions which you can ask the employer? Right. What are the ethics which you should uh, take care of while attending the interview? Mm. So in every interview, uh, I ask this question in the end, you know, and that question actually boggles the employer a little. It makes them think. I ask, uh, what is your expectation of filling this role? Mm. Not just the job description that you're providing us, mm. but what do you expect from a person at this role? Mm. That actually makes them think. Right. So, yeah. Researching upon what are the good things to ask in the interview can mm. be a good thing. Right. And that's all from my side. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your experience and for your suggestions. And yeah, thank you. Okay. It was great having a communication with you. So thank you everyone for watching this video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel if you found this video helpful. That would really help me out to bring in more people and more interview experiences from different companies. So thank you for watching and do keep supporting me. Thank you.